Hey guys, at BV Matson here. Let's pinstripe a tank. Just got done doing this side of the tank. I did a black thick and kind of a silver, you know, kind of a silver narrower one. And man, I don't know, man. I think this is, uh, that's kind of a classy look for the old apocalypse bike. Kind of digging it. But now the big challenge is we got to replicate all this on the other side. And here is our blank canvas. I actually just picked up just a couple rolls of pinstripe. One is kind of a dark gray or medium gray. It's a thinner one. And I got a gloss black, just a little bit thicker. And you can see how those kind of lay together and they create that look <laughs> from the other side. Now, before I settled on a design, I kind of mapped things out and I did several takeaways, kind of dry runs basically, but you don't want to start wasting material so another thing that would be really handy to have for this process, I just grabbed a couple of um, dry erase markers, just a couple of different colors of those. And then it's really important to have a nice sharp razor blade. So let's get to it. Let's map this out. And uh, yeah, let's get this tank striped. So the first thing that I did is I took a marker and I just kind of draw, draw where I wanna be. Now getting these pinstripes in the right spot is really, really critical because my first pass at it wasn't so good. As you can see, it's just not quite laying right. So as you can see, it was a little bit scrunched. So you really want to make sure that your lines are coming up right to or just below the contours. Now these dry erase markers work great for that because one, they wipe right off if you make a mistake and they're really forgiving. So basically I'm just gonna outline here where I want that big thick stripe to go and just work my way around the tank with my line. Again, watching the contours of kind of where the tank is actually, you know, folding over to that flat surface, all right? Because again, if you scrunch this, it just looks weird, doesn't quite work out. Now it's these curves, it's the, it's the bloody curves that are the most challenging. You gotta just take your time to get it in the right spot. Take your time, like here I just, I went a little bit too far out, but you can just wipe that right away and start angling your line down just a little bit more. I wanna make them as, you know, damn, as well, as good of a mirror as I can. But again, just kind of work your way down on that contour I think this one needs to come down just a little bit. Again, you can just wipe this. Let me give you a little bit better angle here. As we work our way around, and it probably wouldn't be a bad idea for me to go and reference the other side of the tank to see just how far I came down. And you can kind of see I was just up just a hair, not much, not much off of that, rolling right through there. So, I don't know, man. I really, 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 really like this. I think that's gonna look mean. Back over here, I think I'm in the right position. Just right on that line. Right where that metal starts to fold over. Now we can start to kind of carry this through. Steady hands. Work your way through here. Again, these are just guides. And I wanna check out, you know, my slope here. And I do like the way that it just kind of naturally came to a little bit of a point. All right, just gonna slightly bring this up just a little bit at the end. And then this will slope right down into this. And that's what it's gonna look like. <laughs> I'm a fan, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. So I'm gonna go through, darken this up just a little bit all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and lay in my other line, which is actually really important too. All right, we're ready to go with just a little bit different color. And uh, what I found works good is to just put a little bit of space between this, but this will actually be the line that we'll use to uh, kind of line things up on for that main black stripe. And then putting that small silver one in is really no problem. But having a nice little guide is gonna be great. So we can, now that we know exactly kind of where we want it, this uh, orange line is gonna help us get it 
right in the right spot. So again, just take your time and outline the entire piece. Patience, patience, patience. There we have it. There's kind of what we're going to be working with. It's going to look so damn cool. Can't wait. It's not going to be brown and orange. It's going to be black and silver. All right, next thing that can be kind of useful is just grab yourself an alcohol swab. And let's delete the brown line, okay? Leaving just the orange line. And we're also cleaning the surface here so that we can adhere the material, all right? Move your material quite often, but just kind of run that along the edges. Let's get rid of that brown line, and we'll use the orange one as our guide for putting that first stripe on, guys. This is the first pinstripe job I've ever done. I'm sure there's some professionals out there right now being like, what in the hell is this? guy doing but you know what there's a, there's got to be a first time for everything and I'm learning just like everybody else and hopefully some of the little things that I'm discovering on my first pinstripe job are going to help you do an awesome job on maybe your first one or just I don't know give you some confidence to at least try all right here we go I've got a nice clean line on my thick black color and Peel off the backing. This isn't the uh, decal water kind of transfer stuff we did before. Um, this stuff is a, a straight up pinstripe that you would see like on the side of a car. So here we go, let's do it. Try to keep your hands off the adhesive side, but give yourself a lot to work with. So I would peel some backing back and then hold it, okay? Like kind of fold this back and then kind of hold it here. This will be kind of our pressure point so we can do some of these curves. So I'm gonna come down here and get my get the pinstripe started. Let that kind of tack in there just a little bit. And then we're gonna slowly, oops, slowly, keyword is slowly, start to work the curve. Now this will peel back up later on if we need to start getting in some micro adjustments. But I'm just gonna slowly pull. I'm pulling, I'm putting tension on the tape and then kind of guiding it and dropping it where I want it to go. When you're doing these curves, just got to go slow one little millimeter at a time let's get this first curve over look at how nice and smooth that's laying out I'm gonna pull just a little bit more backing off move my finger keep the pressure on and again I'm pulling pulling pretty hard over on this side okay so I'm gonna just kind of keep my curve going watching that contour of the tank making sure it is in the right spot and one little piece at a time. So I'm gonna hold it, I'm gonna pull some more backing and give it a nice tension. And get it down on my line. Try to keep it really nice and straight as I'm moving through here. There's a little nick in this right there. Um, I think it's just the quality of maybe this tape that I bought. Um, some of the cuts aren't that great, but I, I, it's survivable. So let me move the camera here. Give you a little bit better look-see here at what we're looking at. And we'll keep on going. Again, you can always pull it back up if you need to readjust. I'm just pulling, trying to stay on my contour line as close as I can. And I'm getting ready for another curve, okay? We've got another curve, so I'm gonna pull some more backing off. Again, don't grab the tape, grab, you know, the, the curl part here. And now let's start doing our curve. Again, just pull, kind of hold it with your finger, tap it down, and then pull the tape. This is kind of our tightest corner that we need to make on this. So you're gonna have to be really, really careful. Let me give you a better look. All right, back at it. Again, you're just kind of pulling the tape where you want it to go. And small micro movements. Here's the tough one. Little micro movements. And again, I'm just pulling taut on the tape, trying to get it around the corner here without any kind of bubble. And hey, I tell you what, I did pretty good on that one. Better than on the other side. <laughs> and we'll carry this line all the way through. 
and we'll get ready for our gradual turn. All right, we'll just keep on working our way through. Again, give yourself lots of leeway. And we're gonna start making this little curve here along the bottom, which luckily is actually pretty straight once you get it. So now I can kind of snap a line almost. I can get it lined up where I want it. Pull it. Don't pull so hard that you're like tugging and, you know, creating weak spots. I think that might be what happened. No, actually, I'm not sure what happened up there, but whatever. We're getting better every single time. We're learning lessons. This thing's actually coming together pretty darn nice. Let's finish this up. And grab it. And there we go. Find my material. This is some spinny stuff, man. Likes to spin around on you. Now I'm just gonna pull, get my line. It's coming out really good. And then I'm just gonna slightly arc it up into this spot. All right, from here, I can cut this. I don't need all of that weight on there. Now I just need to make a nice contoury line up here to meet this. <laughs> and that is gonna look freaking awesome. All right, grab your extremely sharp razor blade and then we're gonna cut this. Don't Make sure you don't cut through into the tank or into your paint. You can just score that just a little bit and that'll pop right off of there and we got a nice clean line. Let's get that orange off of there. All right, grab your alcohol pad and clean the whole surface. Get rid of all the ink that we laid down. <laughs> this is gonna look amazing. It's gonna look like a million bucks, man. I think it's gonna look absolutely fantastic. Let's put the next stripe on. All right, got my thinner kind of gray or silver. I keep calling it silver, but it's actually just a a gray, kind of an off gray, kind of a color. And this one's tricky because this stuff is really thin. <laughs> it's thin, so I'm gonna set this down on the table. I'm gonna lift it up, give myself plenty to be able to work with, peel this back. I'm gonna start over on this end. Kind of the same deal, all right? Let's get this thing started. And again, I'm gonna put just a little bit of a gap in between the lines. And this one's actually pretty simple to do because all you gotta do is kinda keep an eye on it. And actually trim this, oops. Trim this off just a little bit. Make sure I have fresh material with fresh stickum. Do that, beautiful. Now let's try that again, pull it out. Lift it up. Got my backing material in one hand. I'm trying to do, this is weird. It's like I'm try, I'm almost doing this left-handed on this one. So I'm just gonna lay this into position and get my starting point figured out here. I think right about there is gonna be good. Now all we gotta do is, <laughs> whoops. All we gotta do now is just maintain this distance as we go wrong and get this, this second stripe in. Notice I kind of planned ahead for my connection that I'm gonna need there. I'm just gonna, again, to go really slow, but now we have a really nice marker to be able to work with. As again, we slowly work our corners, tension on the stripe, and just slow and steady, man. Slow and steady is gonna win the race today. And there you go. Just work your way all around the tank. Maintain that uh, equal distance. Take your time. Go slow, one bit by bit. There you go, guys. Nice little custom pinstripe job on that tank. I think that looks pretty damn classy. The one thing I'm gonna go in and do is I'm actually gonna go in and paint the O and the D, the centers of those two letters, I think I'm gonna paint those silver just so that all pops just a little bit more. <laughs> what do you guys think? This bike is looking 
Spike's looking classy now, guys. We got both sides of the tank done, and I think we're in great position. Guys, again, I'm not a professional. I'm just doing this stuff as a hobby and having a hell of a good time while I'm doing it, man. No, no joke. I'm loving every minute of it. So there we go, guys. Go try. Stuff's really forgiving. If I hate it, if I, if I wake up tomorrow and I hate it, I can just pull it off. It ain't, ain't no big deal. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment. Love hearing your comments, positive, neutral, negative. You know, let me know. We're all learning here together. So do that. And also, if you're really into the videos, make sure you check out the Facebook group, Keep On Wrenching Community Group on Facebook. Link will be in the description. Come join us there, man. We got a really great crew of people that we're working with. <laughs> I love this. And also, guys, if you want to support the channel, be sure to share those videos. Guys, thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video or live stream.